Welcome to East Coast Health Cube Views. Today, we're reviewing a beer by A. Inger Brewery. This is their Celebrator Doppelbach. It says Finest Bavarian Doppelbach. Clocking in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. Uh, comes with this cool goat kind of like keychain thing. Not really a keychain, but comes with this cool goat on it. Uh, it says dark, malty, and rich. Ainger at the foot of the Bavarian Alps is one of the world's most respected breweries, family owned and operated since 1878. Um, it doesn't have a date on it, it just says L1082. In the USA, imported by Merchant Duvin Corp, Seattle, Washington. So it's got that on the back of it. Anything else on here? Brewed and bottled by Product et Embutil. Bar, Burrai, Aying, Franz, Inskalmer, KG, Aying, Germany. So that was my uh, best at pronouncing that. <laughs> Let's crack this open. Uh, yeah, go for the pour. Got my Trillium Sniffer glass here today. Got some good color. It's actually pretty dark. Uh, I'd say dark amber. Very, very dark amber. Um, hold up to the light. It's actually, uh, it's actually kind of um, murky, cloudy. There's really no clarity through the beer at all. Hold up to the light. You get a little bit more of that. You can see a little bit more of that amber color. It's actually got like a little bit of like a ruby tint at the bottom. I didn't pour it too aggressive. Uh, it didn't really produ produce much of a head. Half a finger. Off-white kind of beige colored head. Um, it's got this lacing. It's got this like ring around. But the uh, head on top is pretty much dissipated completely. Uh, nose. That smells pretty good. Lots of chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, uh. It's raisins almost along the lines of cherries. I'm gonna go raisins. Chocolate cherries. Chocolate raisins. Brown bread. Lots of uh, t um, toffee. Yeah, there's a lot of malty sweetness with this. A slight floral grassiness as well. But yeah, for the most part on the nose, it's super chocolatey and dried fruits. And then you get that malty sweetness and that Brown bread, biscuity. Yeah, biscuity breadiness. This smells really good. Uh, 6.7%, definitely well hidden. Uh, smells smells pretty sweet though, I will say. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Let's go for the taste. Cheers. About medium body. Up front, it's really malty. Malty. Some roastiness. Dark chocolate. And getting that breadiness again. Yeah, caramel, toffee. And I'd say more toffee. A little bit of like a citrusy floral, grassy, bitterness on the finish. Slightly astringent. Six point seven percent, definitely well hidden. Yeah, this is definitely very rich in flavor, like they say. Um, it's got a good balance between like malty sweetness. You get a lot of that uh, brown bread on the palate as well. And then, like I said, you you finish with that slight bitterness. Slightly grassy and floral. 
it's not overly sweet. I think the bitterness kind of cuts through the sweetness on the back end. Um, it's very drinkable though. It's still about medium body. I'd say it's combination somewhat of a prickly spritzy carbonation um, on the low side of medium I would call it uh, rating for this I like this it's a solid beer it's uh it's got some really good um, rich flavor like they say uh, good amount of complexity super drinkable for what it is I'm gonna give this beer like a uh, I'll give it a 93 out of 100. I, I actually really enjoy this. Um, I believe I got a bottle of, of this for $3.65 um, for a single bottle. So not a bad price. I think you can get a little cheaper in a four pack. Oh, excuse me. I do believe that these come in four packs. They come in the 11.2 uh, ounce bottles as well. But yeah, this is actually a really good... Um, I'd say it's like it, right in between. If you want like something like a dessert beer that's like on the sweeter side, but you don't want something too thick, um, too filling, I think that this is a great beer to try out. Also comes with this little cool uh, goat ornament. <laughs> so you can hold on to that after. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna recommend it all day. Um, it, it's a really good beer. It's a standard. I know a lot of people uh, have said as far as Doppelbox that this is um, definitely one to check out if you haven't tried the style or it's just a great representation of the style. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos. I'll look at beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.